welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week, I am going to do all things shoes going into spring and summer. So I'm so excited to share some closet staples with you guys, open-toed heels, flats, and the best part about these shoes is I wear them to work, but I also take them on vacation. I wear them to date night. Like when I buy a shoe, I need it to double for a lot of different things. And if I buy it for a certain occasion, I'm typically not splurging on the shoe and I'm finding an affordable option to like a designer or something like that. So you'll see some designer dupes in here for shoes that I didn't want to spend a lot of money on, but I still wanted to have in my closet every now and then when I gravitate towards that style. And then I've got some classic shoes that I think that you guys will love for years that I do think are worth spending like over a hundred dollars on. So let's get started. Okay, hey, let's talk all things spring shoes. These are great for work, but I think that they're great to wear on the weekends and take on vacations as well. I've got some affordable finds. I've got some splurges. It just depends on the style. Typically, if it's like less of a classic style, I will go with a more affordable find because I don't think I'm going to wear it as much. But for classic styles that I know I'm going to love and wear for years, I will tend to splurge a little bit more on a better quality shoe that's going to last me a while. Okay, we're gonna start with a pair that's new to my closet. I was looking for an open-toed block heel that was a neutral color that I can wear with my work outfits to make them like a little bit more fun, but then also be able to take on vacation and wear with dresses. These are an affordable find from Target. Look how cute they are. Do you see that little detail right there on the straps? Block heel for comfort. They are true to size, so I went with a size seven. If you're in between sizes, I would size up half a size. You can see here that they've got like a little bit of, just a tiny bit of padding. Again, these are new to my closet, so I don't know how comfortable they're gonna be like long wear, but the heel isn't that high. These weren't tight when I put them on, like the little straps here. So I think that they're gonna be really, really comfortable. Really cute for work and really cute for play. Next up, I got these last year they're a designer dupe um, I didn't want to spend the money on the designer pair because I just knew I wouldn't wear them a lot but when I do get to wear them they are so fun another uh, block heel there it's actually a rounded heel which makes this like such a cute design it's a little bit of up close there this tie I like step on I stepped on last year and it came undone and I like couldn't figure out to get it perfectly tied back they come in other colors. You do need a size of a full size in these, um, but I have worn them. They are pretty comfortable because the block and the heel height isn't that big. Got a little bit of support right there. They are so darling and such a fun statement heel to have in your closet this spring. Next affordable find, another designer dupe here. These are Chanel inspired. I absolutely love these for work, but I've worn them for date night too because I just, I love the color combo. Really, really small heel, little sling back here. They're almost like slip on, like there's no buckle on these. Um, I would say it, they run true to size. Like I got my normal size seven. And if you're kind of in between sizes, I would actually say size down half a size. These fit great. I love them. I wear them all the time. And if you follow me on Instagram, you see me style these all the time for work. Next up, are these wedges these are the type that like you tie up your ankle you know like in a little crisscross and you can like tie a little bow on them um, I love these with dresses especially for vacation and then the wedge makes them so comfortable they do come in other colors I actually got this pair off Amazon so again I'm going for an affordable buy here because I'm not gonna wear them a lot but when I do want to wear them with a cute pair of pants uh, these also look really cute with jeans I want to have them in my closet, but I don't want to spend a bunch of money on them because they're not going to be used every week. Uh, but I love these for date night. I love them for vacation and they are a really fun way to, to dress up like a monochromatic, uh, simple work outfit. Now let's talk classic shoes you're going to have and love for years. First and foremost, a neutral light colored block heel for work is key. And for date night, like if you're somebody who doesn't like this skinny heel, then you do want to get a great, good quality pair of heels that you can wear to work, but you can also take on vacations and to date nights. These are um, Alley, so they're definitely on the pricey side. They're a handmade shoe. I will link these exact ones here, but I will also link some affordable options in the exact same style. A lot of brands make a um, good block heel like Mark Fisher. 
Um, so I'll link two options for you there. I do love these, but I own comparable brands that are more affordable than this. And I think the quality is just as good. So I don't think that this brand is worth the splurge, but this style is definitely worth spending maybe closer to $100 or a little over $100 on a pair of shoes on. Um, that way you can have them and love them for years and you don't have to worry about rebuying them or like the sole coming apart for a cheaper brand. And then you want a classic nude open-toed heel for spring and summer. I grabbed these last year. They're by Vince Camuto. I always get a block heel because for work, that's the most comfortable. And I'm grabbing shoes that I can wear to work, but I can wear on vacation and I can wear to date nights. So typically that's why you always see me go for a block heel because I want it to double as a work shoe. You can see they're just a neutral color, um, strappy heel, open-toed really great way to take your typical work outfit for fall and winter you throw on a spring and summer shoe and you can wear the same outfits you just got to change up your shoe let's move on to some flats first and foremost i've got these color block ones from steve madden i love the color block the same thing as the heels i shared i love this combo together they are so classic and stunning and a take on like Chanel inspired shoes with the color combo here. Um, these are, what size is this? Let me try to see. True to size, if you're in between size up half a size, they do have an adjustable strap here. You can adjust that clasp if you need a little bit more room there. Um, so I love these. The open back makes them a great spring and summer shoe. So I didn't wear these a lot in the winter, fall and winter because your feet are more exposed. That's why these make a great shoe for spring and summer. Now, if you want an even shorter heel than the, than the ones that I've shared today, then you need to go kind of like the kitten heel route. You see how short these are? But I love them from the front. Very strappy, sexy, nude heel, but ultra comfortable. I have worn the heck out of these. I mean, like, look at that. Like, I, I probably need to buy a new pair of whatever version they came out with this year. I've had them for um probably two years probably three years now and they are my most worn shoe especially on the weekends and for date night and vacations because they just go with everything um but ultra comfortable so if you're looking for a shorter heel i will find this year's version and link it here this brand is mark fisher so i know that these since they're three years old won't exactly be in stock but i will find the same style for this year and link it down below in the description box. Now, something I think you absolutely need in your closet is a cute fashion sneaker that's white. These are the two that I have. These are the splurge the golden gooses. These are still a splurge, definitely not as much of a splurge as these, but these are Vejas. Um, I love both. I wear them both. It uh, just depends on the style. Like you can see these are a little bit more of a platform than these. So if I need a little bit more height, like my pants are a little bit longer, I will gravitate towards these. But I love them both. I've had these for four years. They take a minute to get broken in because it's a sustainable brand. The materials are like a little bit more rigid and stiff. But once you get them broken in, I wear them nonstop. So you just have to know that about these is they do have a break in period to them. I am wearing oh, a US six. So I sized down a full size in these. All the other shoes I've been sharing have been sevens. So I would size down in these and please know they have to be broken in before they get really, really comfortable. But the quality and the style, I mean, having them for four years, they just need a good little wash and they look amazing. So love those. My golden gooses I have had for about a year now. Um, again, I do think they take a little bit of break in. I've never gotten a blister from them. I'm trying to see what size, but the size isn't listed here. And I wanted to tell you because I, I did need to size up or down in them, but I can't find the size on this. I'll have to check. Um, I think they're like a cute shoe to splurge on. I wouldn't say it's a necessity in my closet. Um, I went with an all white because I just wanted something classic. Uh, you know, if you know Golden Gooses, they come in like a bunch of crazy colors and glitters and things like that. And that's just not my vibe. So um, they're fun to have. I do wear them a lot, but 
I don't know if I would repurchase them and I don't think they're like a necessity to have if you're getting like a fashion sneaker. I think that there's plenty of other brands that are a heck of a lot less money that like the Vejas. Uh, that you should probably go after first. That's a wrap on my shoe haul. Thanks so much for watching. Everything is linked in the description box down below. If you have questions on any of the shoes you saw today, leave a comment. I do check them often. And if you have a request for another video coming up, drop that down below too. I love hearing from you guys. Until next time.